In this video, I'll help you set your expectations from fundamental analysis. Don't expect fundamental analysis to give you frequent trading signals because it won't. In fact, you as an individual to, should identify yourself as either a trader, investor or a speculator. Knowing the difference between the three is extremely important. A trader is someone who designs a trade. Let me give you an example. Consider that a stock is trading at Rs 100. Now you identify that 100 is the mean price of the stock or the average price of the stock. And the first standard deviation of the stock is 115. And you also expect the stock price to go higher to the extent of the first standard deviation. Therefore, you would be a buyer in the stock at 100, hoping that the stock price will reach 115. Now here, you've designed a trade. There is a certain logic based on which you've taken up this trade. Traders are the ones who design trades. A speculator, on the other hand, takes a trade because of a wild whim. It could be because of a gut feel or his friend told him, or maybe because he liked the logo of a company. And finally, we have the investor who does a deep down fundamental analysis, which includes reading the annual report, reading through the financial statements, and, and reading through the profit and loss balance sheet and the cash flow statements, and finally arriving at a thesis to buy or sell the stock. So you as an individual need to identify yourself as, as either a trader, investor, or a speculator. When you make an investment based on fundamental analysis, be prepared for a long haul investment. Your returns can be extremely lumpy. For example, let's say you make an investment in a stock this year. The next year, for all you know, you could experience a negative return. Year after, you could probably experience a mediocre return like three or four or maybe even 10%. A year after, the third year onwards, maybe your return starts to improve, you could start seeing a double digit return. What I'm trying to say is your returns won't be smooth, you can't time your returns, but on a long haul period, you can experience a spectacular growth, provided you've invested in the right company and the right business. Lastly, don't expect compounding of your investment, like the way compounding would work in the fixed deposit market. In the fixed deposit market, compounding works very well without any volatility in it. For example, assume that you invest Rs 100 in a fixed deposit scheme of a bank, which offers you 6% return. Now at the end of one year, your 100 becomes 106. End of second year, your 106 becomes 112. And if you keep this investment on for 10 year period, what you will experience is a nice upward sloping curve. And people refer to this as the compounding effect. While compounding works in the stock market, it's not really a smooth journey like the way it would work in the fixed deposit market. Like I mentioned earlier, returns can be lumpy. You may not experience great returns in the, at the start of your investment or maybe towards the end of your investment. In fact, you cannot really time when the returns are gonna come. But if you give it sufficient time at some point during your investment journey, the probability of experiencing a compounded return is higher. Finally, as you may have guessed by now, patience is a key ingredient in making long-term investments. In the next video, we will try and understand the tools that are available to us for fundamental analysis and we'll start by understanding how to read an annual report of a company. Key takeaways from this video are, Thank you.